Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Drop. I'm joined with my buddy and co-host, Jordan Michelow. What's up, dog? What's up, man? How you doing? <sighs> well, I'm great, personally, but this downpour of rain that we're getting on top of the snow that we finally received is a little bit of a bummer. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Yep. I was, uh, I was pretty psyched up to go uh, maybe hit the streets today. And I went outside to shovel the the sidewalk and everything, and it was just downpouring rain. We're supposed to get like one to one and a half inches of rain, which is a lot of rain. And then one <laughs> inch of snow tonight. Yeah, and you, and we, we could make it what? work out there, but it yeah. definitely will take some serious work. That yeah, I mean, uh, well, we got like four or five inches of snow. I'd say it's pretty good. So anyway. Yeah. Um, today's episode is going to be all about style versus technical snowboarding and snowboarders. Um, I kind of am speaking for myself, but I think we're kind of speaking for us both that we're more style. style I, I look for, I like snowboarders that are more style than technical. Um, I feel like I've personally always tried to do more technical tricks, but. I don't know. What do you think? What are you more of a style person or a technical person? Style, but then there's also these like kind of low key technical tricks that people don't really think about. Like what? Okay, perfect example. Backside nose press front one eighty. Yeah, that's, that's a hard a one. Hard trick. That's a really hard one. Stuff um, like that, like kind of those like where you're like, oh, whoa, like nose slide same way off of a certain yeah. thing, you know, can be like, I, grabbing off of a grabbing off rails on rails, stuff like that. That's kind of fun style, but technically hard. Yeah doesn't look hard but it we know that it's hard that's my favorite kind of shit um yeah what about you man you're like a big drop kind of a guy though when you were filming uh, parts i mean not necessarily always by choice but we didn't really get a chance to hit many rails rails are just like kind of known like they're just kind of boring um like down you don't rails. Want, they well, wouldn't you, don't, you couldn't hit down rails back. no like, there was a but, point where it was like no down rails dude yeah but also like when you're traveling halfway across the world the last thing you want to do is go to a generic 20 stair but what you if know it's perfect but i yeah, mean i feel yeah it. like there's just too much other stuff to be doing that you can't just like sit there i think in all the times we were filming i think we went and did one down bar and i was trying like front one switch nose press on it like for like 25 tries technically never, a hard trick yeah that was a technical trick um but yeah, I totally know what you mean. Like, like technical jibbing is really hard yeah. and difficult. That you might not think about. You're like, but there's a lot of people that can do technical jibbing, but it maybe doesn't look the best. You know, True. like I feel like it's really hard to make really technical jibbing look really good. Um, but there's a few people that have done it. Yeah. Um, that we're getting into right now? Well, we'll get into it in a second. Um, but first, I just wanted to remind all of you guys to make sure that you go and check out the drop snowboarding.com. Uh, We've got the website up, so it's got links to our YouTube. Obviously, you can subscribe right from there. Also, it's got the store. It's also got links to our Patreon as well as our Instagram, um, our TikTok. It's got, uh, yeah, it's it's your source for everything. Got so uh, make sure you guys go swing over there. Exactly. Um, we have had a couple orders on there, so thank you guys so much for ordering. We really, really appreciate it, and uh, we're looking forward to more. Um also, I kind of wanted to like, uh, dive into something with the show, which we haven't really done yet, but I thought it would be kind of funny. So, um, Baggage claim. What's that? Baggage claim. No, well, not, let's, do a, let's do the Instagram chat one. So one of our friends sent over this video, um, and I believe it's referenced to two episodes ago where we talked about the do's and don'ts of snowboarding. And one of the things I said was, don't, don't be blasting music me. in the lift line or on the chair lifts. But... Um, Somebody sent us this video. Now, I mean, you guys tell me what you think of it and tell me your interpretation of it. Um, I don't know any of these people. However, Half Cab um, King. it seems to me like if they're playing their own music on their own chairlift <laughs> and they're three and those three are enjoying it. Four then speakers on a. I, yeah, I mean, I guess. Um, I don't know. But for those of you that can't see, this is a video on Instagram of three dudes sitting on a chairlift blasting music uh, from his snowboard. He's got a bunch of speakers attached to his snowboard, but um, pretty ridiculous. anyway, let me know what you guys think about that. I think, you know, I'm going to give them a bit of a pass simply because I don't know if the music was playing. Uh, what kind of music was it? Because they can't. Hear I don't it know. There. I don't know. I didn't really listen to it, but um, 
What if it's Metallica though? Then you're down. Well, no, I mean, no, I'm still not even. It, it depends. I'm down for them to listen to their music on the chairlift. You can do whatever you want when you're in your personal space. But if they were like blasting that music down the lift line, even if it's Metallica, that doesn't mean that everybody else in the lift line wants to listen yeah, to Metallica. That's true. But um, anyway, and then uh, this other video I wanted to post, which was kind of funny, was um, this was a video that I actually sent over to you, Jordan, because I thought it would be kind of fun in the show to talk about um bales maybe um, we just start calling this stuff baggage claim i kind of like that i mean that is kind of a dope name all right here we um, go check it out yeah for those that cannot see this <gasps> is a dude who basically does like a one and a half backflip um totally on accident he went about 60 50 to 60 feet too far over a park jump um and he definitely g's out at the lip of it and goes flying um this is not a good situation. Right um, there is when he's just like, dude. That's when he knows he's in real trouble. Yeah. Still above the tree. Yep. Yeah, he's definitely in That's some trouble. Rough. And uh, yeah, I don't know if he was hurt or not. Um, this was posted by like a repost um, page, but I do like the baggage claim oh. title. That is pretty sick. But yeah, he's. That hurts yeah. to watch. It was brutal. I'm assuming this jump was somewhere over on the East Coast. But uh, yeah, it was really brutal. Um, let us know what you guys think about that bail. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty, um, pretty legit. Okay, moving on. So, style versus technical snowboarding. We both established that we like style over technicality. Do you have any personal favorites of people that you enjoyed watching style wise? Style. I'd probably Mike McGinnity, Mike Casanova. I think my two favorite styles and my brother, but come on, we're really <laughs> right. How about yeah. you? Um, I wrote down a couple. I wrote MFM. Um, I mean, it's also this is also kind of tricky for me because depending on the time period, like the stuff that they were doing was really technical too, you know. Yeah. Um, but for me, obviously, like style god MFM, Aaron Bittner, like just their styles were even like a dude like Devin Walsh. Like Devin Walsh is a perfect example of style over technical, right? He's not doing like crazy switchback double twelve sixties. He could do a backside one eighty, and it was just like Way the sickest thing. And yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so he's like a perfect example of that style aspect. Um, Chris Bradshaw. I mean, talk about a dude who like didn't have to do much technical stuff. Like that dude can do just a grab dude. over a hip, yeah. and it's like the sickest thing. Yeah. So there's another one, and then. More modern and like, um, persons like Jill Perkins. Like Jill is just like she's also really good technical jibber for sure, but she just has super clean style, super good, um, and just makes everything look pretty freaking easy. I mean, Desiree is right up there too. She is a ripper. Definitely has great style. Um, I think that's what's most fun to watch is someone that just looks effortless, but you know it's hard. You know, I have friends that don't snow and they might see yeah. stuff, and I'm like, you have no idea. They're like, that looks so damn easy. And you're like, dude, it's not. Switch back 5-0. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's very true. Um, and from an outsider's perspective, I think that style can, right? Like style sold that person on snowboarding right like oh that didn't look too hard but they don't realize like just how technical it was but they thought it was sick because the style was good yeah for sure um, i mean i remember just seeing like for me being a kid like going sledding at the hill you saw or i saw someone on a snowboard just hit a jump do just an ollie super simple looked easy and i was like holy shit i need to do that you know yeah i think that's that's what everyone's trying to kind of emulate i think you you other than the contest yeah. writing, like I think it's important to kind of pull into that, like, oh, let's make it look fun. Like bring people in. Yeah. Do it. It's a form of like expression, you know? Yeah. Well, I think that that style aspect ties into, yeah, like the art aspect of snowboarding again, too. Like when it comes to art versus sport, I think there's a lot of parallels between these, like style, art, technical, sport, you know? And especially, yeah, like go, getting into contests, things like that. It's like, well, okay, let's let's move into the next one, technical. Like who do you think of as like an incredible tech rider? Honestly, like I looked at the list there and like kind of got to agree with most of those Phil Jackies. Phil, Phil Jacques. Yeah. Phil Jacques, Mark McMorris. I think Red fits in the whole tech, but he's also does it with style cuz it's just yeah. planned out. 
Andreas Wig back in the day? Dude, for sure. Like definitely sure. had that. But yeah, then like then, robotic, like tech, like technically like yeah. robotic. Like he looked good on a snowboard, tricks. but it was like crazy tricks you'd never seen mm-hmm. before. I'd never paid as much attention to that side of snowboarding though, so you might be better to answer the technical that. stuff. Yeah, who do you consider like some of the most tech? Um, I mean, Louis, but he's so well, stylish. So you guys can't see on screen, but I've got a little list over here in front of me. And so under the tech section, I wrote Phil Jacques, Mark McMorris, and then Chloe Kim and Anna Gasser. Um, both of those girls are insane. Like Anna Gasser has a background of gymnastics. So it makes sense that she's really technical. Everything looks really like pieced together. Like it has a section, like every single thing she does has a place. If that makes sense. Um, Chloe Kim, same, like, I don't necessarily think their styles are the greatest, but they are just boosting and doing like really technically crazy tricks. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, I also have another list um, called both, which, yeah, I put red under Louis parody, Mia Brooks. Like I, I obviously put Louis under there because Louis and Jed, um, I was going to say Jed's got and Jed. Yeah. List. Have done some of the most technical tricks ever on rails that like you said, but also made them look, so simple and effortless um and so watching those guys is extreme like yeah i mean you kind of hit the nail on the head like they make the tricks look really effortless and easy but you realize just how crazy and insane they are like i remember going snowboarding with red just at like north star one day and he was doing the craziest tricks over like these little jumps like tricks that nobody else is doing there you know like weird butter like switch back seven like ridiculous stuff yeah, yeah but yeah. he was doing it so easily and effortlessly and his style was like so on point that it looked like he was just dicking around doing a 360 you know mm-hmm. um so yeah it's i don't know it's it's an interesting thing you know um what about who do you have for like both like we already mentioned red I'd probably have to say Jed would be the one that I'd just yeah, look, look to where, yeah, he can do everything right half pipe. Didn't he do it? Not he won the Canadian win? Open in half pipe. Canadian Open, that's what it was. Didn't he do it in like jeans too or something? Probably. But I mean, he he can film these parts where he's like switch back to on a kink rail, back to regs, and you're like, holy smokes. And then he'll do like the coolest, like that back lip in the bowl oh, corner. Yeah. Like that's technically just a back lip but you know what i mean like he can Certainly. make that look super good plus the tech i don't know i yeah. think there's but then yeah other people is i don't know that balance i think is really important to try to find it i well, mean everyone's gonna fall a little bit more into one i'm sure but yeah um i mean again you kind of hit it just with what you just said the the balance of the two of them like yeah. if you can find that balance between being insanely talented trick wise, technically wise, but also just like spewing with style, but then also find it like you can be somebody that leans really heavy to one side because their style is just so good that they don't have to be as technical. But then you also have the people that are just so technically and good, like a Chris Corning, right? Like, I don't know if you know who Chris Corning is. Like he's a slope style slash like big air dude. Um, He'll do a 1800, but it just doesn't look very good. Yeah. In, in my I mean, opinion. St- in my like opinion. his arms are down. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he's not super crazy yeah. looking, but I know what you're saying. But he it's has just, like that insane technique. He didn't put his own little sauce on it. Like he didn't put his own little yeah. aioli on top of that. I mean, let's just say his aioli ain't as tasty as some other people's <laughs> aiolis. <laughs> you know? It's like um, <laughs> like a Wendy's aioli, which I think they sponsor the X Games. Maybe they do. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, and then you have those dudes that just kind of like, like if you had a chart where it was like one is one color and the other is another color, and then people that do both is like a mix of that color. Like one's red, one's blue, and then there's dudes that are real have a lot of purple because they can do <laughs> like both really, really good. And then there's people that are really red and some people are really blue. Not politically. Just I was going to say, I was just going to go blue and you could go teal and green. green or, or how about blue right? and yellow and there's a lot of green. Yeah, how about yeah. that? Get that good teal. Yeah. Well, but, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I think, uh, I think it's pretty cool. And I mean, I, okay. Final question in regards to this. Well, I guess we kind of already answered it. Like, you obviously lean more towards a, a rider with style as opposed to a rider with technical abilities. 
I mean, um, not to say that I'm not stoked on certain tech stuff, but there were just some people that you knew were like hammering. Because I've been, I've filmed with people like that that are just, I need to get this trick. This is how it's going to be. And it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's totally different than like, I don't know, like I'd ride with my brother Gus or something like, Whoa, yeah. like what can I do to this? You know what I mean? And just like totally. look at it like, like a blank canvas, like, oh, there's a rail. I can do this to this. I always tried to look at it that way. And I think. I've always leaned towards watching that kind of snowboarding because it's just so fun. Yeah, I mean, see. well, we could even—it's unexpected. Mean, here's a here's another like good side by side is like videos. You know, like you could have a think tank, which is like all style, although but a lot also of really, really tech. technical stuff. Maybe not as maybe not as life risking, um, but dude, I know how many times it's taken Scott Stevens to do like a one foot plant box slide to spring mattress to front flip, like probably took him 250 tries, you know, um, on any of those 250 tries, was there a chance that he was going to like clip an edge and go flying three stories and lay oh, yeah, on his head? be one no. footed and like tweak, it. <laughs> but he could, you can still get really hurt from a lot of that stuff. Yeah, certainly. But it's not like, yeah, yeah. Life or death type, like crazy stuff. That's still extremely technical and still extremely difficult. Yeah, for sure. Um, Tech Nine always had kind of a good mix of that. I feel like in their videos, where you had what was that guy's name, the wakeboarder that uh, oh, Dylan. 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 He did like crazy huge stuff, stylish, crazy. maybe not as stylish. But then you got Bradshaw doing just totally the coolest looking shit on whatever. Yeah, it didn't even matter. Dude. Well, and then you had like a middle ground dude, like a like a Nick Pooch. Like Pooch was really technical, really good jumper. And then he would do like a like a huge like back two seventy on like a king trail like just like yeah I think I'm gonna back two seventy you're like what like okay and he like does it perfectly and you're like holy cow yeah or or another example like Johnny Paxson like Johnny Paxson was like insanely good at everything um yeah, a really good, so good mix a really good green did he kind of step player. out before Tech Nine was done no well kind of I mean he uh. He started doing all the Nike stuff. So all of his like stuff went over there. Yeah, pretty much. Because hmm. um, he filmed for the Nike video a couple years. I forget all what videos he was in. But then he just kind of like kind of like Dylan when it was like when he was done, he was done. That was it. I'm just like, all right. Yeah, he had like a family and a bunch of other stuff. So oh, that's yeah. tight. Yep. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of people that really blend it all together. Um, but if I had to pick, I'm, I'm picking style for sure. Who's your favorite stylish snowboarder? Can you pick one? Mark Frank Montoya. Yeah. Damn. Mark Frank Montoya for sure. He was always like growing up. My favorite still is just like watching his parts. I'm just like, so he was like a legend. Like just hearing about him when I was just starting to like get into skateboarding, yeah. snowboarding. Yeah. Best hack I think I ever saw was like he steals a, like a freaking candy bar. Do you see that skit? It was like one Probably. of the old videos yeah. where it's like goes and gets the fucking big gulp, puts a <laughs> Snickers or two in there and rolls out. I was like, damn, that dude's poor like me. He gets it, dude. Yeah, That's he's insane. dude. He have you listened to his uh Stoney's Buds yet? Dude, I gotta check that one out. It's pretty sick. It's like, like he talks about up. all that stuff. It's definitely cool. Make sure also, man, make sure you guys uh go and listen to other podcasts out there. There's a bunch of good ones out there. Airtime, Bomb Hole, Stoney's Buds. Um, make sure you guys all check those out. Yeah. Well, dude, I think it's established. Style over everything. Yeah. And if you're also really good at tricks, too, that's awesome. <laughs> but where does style come from, I guess? From learning tricks, doing yeah. them, have fun with it. That's going to show. Right. Yeah, I mean, if you're so comfortable doing frontside 1260s that now you're adding like crazy stylish tricks to it, like a, um, like a tour gear Bergman or whatever that dude, or like a Rene Renacongas, dude, dude, I did sick, insane style and crazy tricks, like just loose, fun, but somehow just like they make it look so good. Yeah, but yeah, cool, man. Well, thanks for tagging along today. <laughs> yeah. Great seeing you. Glad you were able to bounce over here. Yeah. Um. Guys, let us know what you want to hear. Make sure you guys are leaving comments. I appreciate all the comments that we're getting in on the uh, YouTubes, on the Instagram. Thank you for sending over videos for us over on the Instagram. Uh, that's what's up. Um, yeah, make sure you guys check out the website. 
It's thedropsnowboarding.com. Also check us out on Instagram at thedropsnowboarding and everything else. Jordan, good seeing you, my dog. Good to see you, man. Let's Chat try to get with out you later. Snowboard soon, huh? Oh gosh, I Before hope. Maybe done. some of these mountains will reopen. Yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm, pr- I'm hoping. Come on, I'm hoping. Guys. All right, all right, dog. From us, later, guys. Have a good one. Adios. Take care. See you later. Catch you later. Peace. Peace. Goodbye.